Prince Charles and Princess Anne were left by the Queen and Prince Philip to roam with Gibraltar's famous Barbary apes during a royal tour in the 50s, a documentary claimed. It was almost exactly a year after his parents, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip married that Prince Charles was born, on November 14, 1948. While modern-day royal youngsters are being encouraged to speak about their feelings and demand plenty of affection and company, in Charles' early days it was a very different story. The British monarch and the Duke of Edinburgh famously embarked on a six-month Commonwealth tour soon after her coronation and left Prince Charles and Princess Anne at home. Queen Elizabeth II was part of a generation in class that routinely left the daily care of small children in the hands of household staff. This led to suggestions that Charles did not form as strong a bond with his mother as he had with nannies and his beloved grandmother, the Queen Mother. In 2015 new tube documentary The Madness of Prince Charles, it is claimed that on his second and third birthday, neither the Queen nor Prince Philip were there. Even when Charles was traveling with his parents, they often left him to the staff. The documentary reveals that during the royal tour of Gibraltar in 1954, when the little prince and princess Anne went to see the famous Barbary apes, it was with the nannies. Charles, then aged five and a half fed the rock's famous Barbary apes without his parents, but was watched over the the royal nannies. Legendary broadcaster Alan Wicker, then a royal correspondent covering the trip, later revealed, Charles hated them, and so did I. In Jonathan Dimbleby's 1994 biography of Prince Charles, titled, The Prince of Wales, a biography, Charles is quoted as saying that the people who raised him were not his parents, but inevitably the nursery staff. After Elizabeth was coronated in 1953, the pair's schedule became even busier and it meant the prince was left in the care of nannies. Prince Charles reportedly had a lonely and heartbreaking childhood which resulted in scathing comments later in his life. In another biography of Charles, titled, Prince Charles, The Passions and Paradoxes of an Improbable Life, author Sally Bedell Smith made the same claim. She wrote in her 2017 book that Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip only saw their children after breakfast and tea time. Robert Lacey, advisor for Netflix's The Crown explained to Town & Country magazine in 2018 that the Queen thought it best to have nannies raise her children while she was traveling, rather than bring them along. 